which permutation makes PA upper triangular? Okay, uh, upper triangular meaning uh, everything below the main diagonal, uh, which is uh, this here, will be zeros. Everything below here will be zeros. Okay, notice that I have two zeros on the first. Uh, so, uh, f so I do need, and then I have a zero on the last. So I need to first exchange row two and row three. So I need this row two to come here and uh, row three uh, to go here. So to do that, this is the original matrix uh, A, uh, I would have to multiply A by a permutation matrix. So I would have to do P23, a permutation matrix basically switches the rows, so multiplies A. Um, and so uh, that means, uh, let me take this a little bit to the left. To the right, I mean, because uh, I have to pre multiply it. So uh, P23 is the identity matrix with rows 2 and 3 switched. So first row is the same, 1, 0, 0. And then uh, the second row would be 0, 0, 1. And the third row would be 0, 1, 0. And if I do that, the effect that this have on the result is that uh, the two uh, rows 2 and 3 of A will be switched. So the end result will be. Uh, zero zero six uh, this one doesn't change and then here I have zero four five and one two three okay now uh, I would need this first row here to go to the last to make two zeros in the bottom and thus it will be in an uh, upper triangular matrix or sorry, uh, yeah, an upper triangular. So I need to switch row one and row three. So I would have to take the result, which is P23 times A, and I would have to multiply it by the permutation one three. One three, row one switched with row three. So uh, that would be uh, zero, zero, 001, the third row. So, the ident so this P13 is the identity matrix with rows one and three switched. So zero one zero uh, and uh, one zero zero, and then I would pre-multiply this by the result that I got zero zero six zero four five one two three, and if I do this, I will get uh, exactly a lower triangular matrix. I uh, this row three will go to the bottom, and you can test it out if you don't believe me. Zero zero six here, and then I would get zero four five unchanged, and then the one two three. This is an upper triangular, upper triangular matrix. Now. Uh, what is it that I did? What is that matrix then to answer the question? So the permutation matrix uh, is uh, P13 times P23 that operated on A to give me an upper triangular matrix. So 1, 3 was uh, 1, 0, uh, sorry, uh, this is switched. Uh, 1, 3. Three. Yeah, this is uh, zero, zero, 001, zero, 010, zero, and 100. Zero, zero. So this is where the first and third row are switched. And here I have 1, uh, zero, 00. Zero, zero, 001, 2 and 3, so, and then zero, 010. Zero. And then let's see what we get here. Uh, so of course, when you multiply two permutation matrices, you do get a permutation matrix. So I get zero, 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 zero. So this is zero. Uh, this is here is a one. So I know that the third cell has to be a zero because it has to be an identity matrix. Yeah. Z Zero, zero, which makes this a one, and which makes the third row 
one zero zero. Yeah, I was doing the uh, thing. What's what's that? So this is our permutation matrix to make it upward triangular. That answers the first part of the question. Okay, part B wants this, uh, or the second part of the question wants this a, a lower triangular. Um, and uh, to make it a lower triangular, uh, first we need to switch or exchange uh, rows uh, two and three. Let me, uh, I wanna copy and paste A here, the original this guy so copy so work it out here now this is the second part and let's move it to the middle a little bit okay I'll leave it that way okay so I want this to be What do you mean? Ma uh, matrix P1 times A times P2, the, the way they have it. It means P1 first times A, matrix A times matrix P2. No, it doesn't. No. It shouldn't. Okay. Um, so here we have to uh, exchange row two and three. So I can take that zero up there. Um, because uh, the lower triangular meaning uh, everything above the yellow diagonal has to be uh, zeros. Uh, okay, so now uh, then let me exchange this with this and this has to go here. So what I have to do to this matrix A then, I would have to multiply it by P13 times A, permutation 13, oh sorry, to P23 to switch the uh, second and third row so I would do one zero zero and then zero zero one and zero one zero and if I do that as promised you guys could try it out uh, you get zero zero six and these two rows get switched so I would have here uh, zero four five and one two three okay notice that the diagonal here is uh, not in the right place I'd want the diagonal to be right here however if you look the diagonal is kind of swapped it's switched it's on the other side uh, so what I need to do is uh, I need to uh, exchange the columns of A and uh, the way I would do this is I would take the end result which is uh, P23 uh, times A um, and I would multiply on the right hand side because multiplying A on the right would exchange the columns of A. So I'm trying to switch the columns of A and what I'm gonna multiply it with, I'm gonna multiply it by P13 uh, because if I multiply on the right that would switch, uh, I would want the third column to come first and the first column to go last right uh, yeah so uh, then I would take my end result uh, which is uh, so P 
two three eight is the above matrix in blue zero zero six times zero four five one two three and if I multiply that by P one three so that's exchanging the first and the third row of the identity matrix so zero zero one uh, uh, 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 and if I do that what will happen is I will get let me write the answer here I will get 6 5 3 third column here uh, first column third 0 0 1 and then I would get 0 4 2 bingo and you could see now this is a lower triangular matrix where the diagonal is in the right place so this is a uh, lower triangular matrix okay so that answers the question so uh, p1 has to be uh, what I multiplied with first P1 was P23 and P2 was a P13 and uh, the last part of the question it says multiplying A on the right but by P2 exchanges the columns exactly what we did columns of A